Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to, well, we're gonna do a little bit of DIY. And uh, for me, it's a pretty interesting project because it's something that uh, I've been doing for a long time. And I wanna show you, well, hang in there. Be right back with you. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And before we get started, I appreciate you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends and enemies. So let's get going. So, problem I've always had is storing sleeping bags, and especially when I was running my shop and uh, having to displace uh, sleeping bags. Well, a lot of them make these very expensive hangers, okay, that you can fold them over and this kind of stuff, but I just found those, first of all, impossible to find, and second of all, very expensive if you do find them, okay? So what I wanted to do is come up with something much easier, much lighter, much more compact, and something I can make myself. So this is it, okay? Um, follow along with me, we're going to talk about this, and I'm going to show you how I make this. So first thing you need is a piece of PVC pipe or something like that. And so here's one you can't buy it in really short lengths or exactly length. So I bought it right here. It's about almost about half and half of what I need here. Uh, that and you need some uh, some kind of cord or something like that. Or and I'm just using this right here. I picked this right here up here recently. This is a um, very very. It's like a quarter inch I would say to yeah three quarter a quarter inch uh, in width. A pair of uh, banding or uh, not even banding. It's a pair of uh, yeah webbing actually. And so, but you can use parachute cord if that's what you have or some rope or whatever, whatever you have uh, that'll hold up, use that, okay? So, and then um, and then I got myself, and you don't necessarily need these by here, but I got myself some of these hooks right here so I can hook this up and you'll get the idea. The first thing you want to do though, is we need to measure the inside of your sling bag from shoulder to shoulder. That's the widest part, okay? <clears throat> you measure that part right there. And I did, and mine, I'm measuring my ECWC uh, Extreme Cold Weather, um, uh, ECWS Cold Weather System sleep bag from the U.S. Army. It's a double, um, actually triple layer sleeping bag system, but I don't store it with the, uh, with the Gore-Tex. But you can also store it individually also. So if you have the room, you can do this. Um, and I measured the inside of it, and I came up with 80 centimeters, okay? I don't know off offhand off the top of my head what 80 centimeters is, but you can you know you can do the calculations yourself. We use the metric system here. The next thing I need to do is I need to measure measure the length, and here's where it is right here, my little darker line right here. And you need to cut that. Okay. So we're gonna cut that. I'll be right back with you. So hang Hello in there. Everybody, and welcome back. And if you're interested in any of the items that you see in my videos that I've produced myself, I make myself, like my fire kit pouch or the pad that I make right here, you can work on it as a work pad. Just check out my website at helvetiabushcraft.ch. You'll find the description down below, the website down below the link. And uh, check out what I've got, okay? I've got some interesting items that I make. And I also not only make products, but I also uh, repair and work on special products for people in the sewing area, okay? So let me know what you think. Anyway, look forward to seeing you again in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. Goodbye. I'm right back with you now, and I cut it with my Dremel, which I happen to have a Dremel. But if you don't, use a saw, but when you get through, make sure that you clean up the edge right here so you don't have any sharp edges right here. And you make sure the other side also is pretty clean because that's going to sit inside your sleeping bag and, and you don't want that to uh, to damage the inside your sleeping bag either. So next thing you're going to do, you're going to take your cordage or your rope, whatever you have, you're going to run it through. By the way, they sell these things online for like 50 bucks. <laughs> I thought that was crazy. Anyway, and once you've cut, when you finish that there, you come to the middle and you're going to want to... Um, you have a triangle right here, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I what I did was when I cut my cordage, I cut it three times the length, okay? You don't necessarily need three times the length, okay? So I'm gonna get it right here to where I need it. Then I'm gonna tie um, a knot in it, okay? And there you go, okay? Pretty simple. And then what I'll take is right here, I'll just go ahead and tie another knot up here just overhead knots, all it is, nothing crazy. You can trim it up if you like also. 
and there you go. And then you'll take your hook and you'll put it like this right here. Okay, now you want a, a good solid piece of plastic PVC. Nothing's going to be bending too much. Okay, um, and then there you go. Let's display it for you. So as you can see, I've got it cinched up. I got it actually from the door. It's not as high as I'd like to ha have it, but you know what? It does touch the floor, but this is it inside of it, okay? It's inside of it. I had to cinch up the sides a little bit to make sure it sits in there properly. And this is a good way you can store your bag, okay? This is one of the ways. I also store my bags by keeping them just folded over one another on the, on the shelf or something like that. But uh, this is another way you can do it. And if you have a bunch of bags, then you can actually store them inside of an armoire that is um, more protected from the sun. Uh, you don't have any problem with molding this kind of stuff. You hang them up in there on the uh, along the wall or something like that, and they can stay nice and aerated. And when you get ready to use them, you just stuff them inside the stuff a bag, and there you go. Okay, so this is a really quick DIY solution for hanging up your bags. And if you're a business owner and you sell bags, this is a really easy and cheap method to go about there doing go. the same thing. I hope uh, I hope this idea works for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. Give me your recommendations, what you think. I mean, I use pillowcases also to fold them up inside of, but I really like them to have ni be nice and lofty, have lots, lots of aeration, so that when I use them, they stay fresh. I don't wash my sleeping bags unless they will get super dirty, so I don't wash them, okay? I'll hang them up inside out in the sun for half a day and let the sun just, just do its job on them or hang them outside the window like you see quite often here in, in Switzerland or in Europe. A lot of Europeans hang their you know, a couple hours out their stuff, and it just it does this do do job. It airs it out, gets rid of all the odors, this kind of stuff. So I've, I've never, ever washed a sleeping bag, never, never except for the Army. Um, and I didn't even order, wash that one. I just gave it back to them because it was still in the plastic, and they still complained about it. But anyway, <laughs> if you've been through CIF, you know the drill. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video, and if you don't see me again uh, for a video after this one right here, um, I am uh, traveling a bit starting tomorrow for the next two weeks i uh, got some videos up on the channel but i uh, hope uh, i hope uh, you know have something wait, waiting for you uh, for next month anyway listen take care of yourselves you all have a blessed day take, and i'll talk to you in the very next video goodbye